If my wife got rid of my aquarium... Oh! Good morning! Hey, check it out. What are you going with first? You got two Red Seas, right? Yeah. I All right, check this out. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Everybody's doing it. Tis the season. Ooh, ooh. Okay, no, seriously, though. Is that the truth? Um... Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On my channel, we talk about everything aquatics, whether it be above ground, below ground, ponds, goldfish, koi, aquariums, saltwater, freshwater, fish door tours. We do product reviews and DIY projects in the hobby. Behind me, the above ground pond. Everybody's doing great, looking fantabulous. Now, that was just the word I just made up. It's fantastic and fabulous combined. Fantabulous. So, you guys are really gonna love this video because we have another wah, 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 fish rescue. Now, you guys may remember my neighbor, Jenna. Good morning. Hey, I know some of you guys do. Here's a clip from when I went to go rescue a bunch of fish and take two 55 gallon aquariums from her. So all the fish here in this aquarium? Yes, and there's actually um, one more back here. Oh, okay, there's another one. Oh, wow, okay, I'll follow you. You guys have another aquarium in here. Last time I was there, she did mention that she's trying to get rid of the 125 gallon, but she had to work things out with her husband first. So I'm kind of curious on uh, hmm, how she pulled that one off. Well, we'll get into the story when I get there because I'm just nosy like that. And I know the Ohana's nosy too. I'm like, man, if my wife got rid of my aquarium with my fish. I want a divorce. 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 There's got to be a reason, so we'll get to the bottom of this. Now, we're going to go back over to her house because she has a 125-gallon aquarium that she's willing to donate to Tiki Lounge and all of the fish we're going to rescue and take them to my local fish store. Now, the cool thing is that she lives right around the block, like literally less than a block away, so I want to say it's maybe eight houses down the street, so we'll be over there in a jiffy. Is it a jiffy or a jippy? I don't know. Whatever. We'll see you in a second. Ah! Boom, just like that, Ohana, we are here and we have our fish rescue equipment. We have a pretty big tote because there's uh, quite a bit of fish. I wanna say there's like six or seven nice sized fish, including an Oscar who is beautiful. We have our pump by Hyger. We also have our portable aerator by Hyger. I have all of Hyger's information, if you guys are interested in this stuff, down in the description below of this video. We also have our furniture dolly and about three buckets too, because I think I might be saving the substrate. So let's get inside and uh, see what's going on. All right, my Ohana, so we're at the front door. We're locked and loaded with everything we need. The cool thing about Jenna, my neighbor, is I mentioned when I come over, I gotta do a YouTube video so she doesn't mind being on camera, which is super cool of her and super nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock on the door. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are you? No worry. So there she is. 125 gallon tank. So if you guys remember last time I was here, there was a 55 gallon tank here. They had the 125 tank here. There was a 55 gallon tank in the bedroom. We took the two 55 gallon tanks and the stands, which are still in the garage, getting ready for Tiki Lounge and all that. And then she said, I don't know if you guys remember, but she said, you may have to come back and get this one later. Well, the Ohana wants to know, Jenna, how in the heck did you manage to talk your husband into getting rid of his prized possession? Uh, I just said it's either me or the tape. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. That's funny she said that. How many times at home have you guys heard that? Hey, get rid of your aquariums or I'm leaving. How many times have you heard that? Okay, no, seriously, though, is that the truth? Um, no. Oh, gotcha. But the tank doesn't look that bad. It's got the tannins in there because we got the driftwood, but I'm pretty sure you are super stoked that this is gone. Super excited. <laughs> so what are you going to do in place of this huge aquarium on this wall? What do you plan on doing right here? Well, for now, there's going to be a Christmas tree there. Oh, this is the Christmas tree. Now that makes sense. Get rid of the tank, put the Christmas tree there. It makes sense. It makes sense. Well, this is what we're going to do, Ohana. We're going to get busy. We got to break down this aquarium. Let's go ahead and transfer the water into a bucket, net the fish, 
put the fish in the bucket. We have our portable aerator, like I said earlier. We're gonna have to drain this tank. I can get it down to about a quarter inch of water. And we're gonna remove the substrate, all the wood, and then we gotta get this beast of an aquarium in the back of my car along with the stand. So stay tuned, Ohana. This is gonna be uh, quite the job. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna time lapse it, but if I don't, well, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, Ohana. So I actually have the pump down here at the corner of the aquarium, pumping the water into the bin where we're gonna put the fish. Just wanna get enough water for the fish to be uh, comfortable. I'm not gonna fill it up. That should be good enough. We have the uh, aquarium water down pretty low. You can see the fish, they're getting all fidgety. Should be easy to net them. Beautiful colors. Don't worry, bud. Don't worry. Going right in there. We have this one here. This looks like another. Oh, gosh, man, this dude's. Wow, this dude's kicking. They're not usually fighters. They're pretty chill when netting them. Try to get this. Uh, you guys know how easy it is to record and scoop fish. Just a beautiful fish. Oh, goodness. I hate to do this to you, bud. Poor guy. There you go. We got him in the corner. Relax, relax, relax. Beautiful fish. Oh, we got him in the net. Jenna, we got him all. Yeah, she's so happy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get a better look at these once we get to Geyser Pets because they have uh, a couple of aquariums for these guys. I have the portable aerator going on intermittent. So every 10 seconds, it's gonna blast a bunch of bubbles and then it's gonna stop. I did a video on this product, this thing, freaking amazing, I promise you. Go check it out. Actually, I'll put a card up above. Click that card and uh, check out the specs on that portable rechargeable aerator. As I was sifting through the substrate, check out what I found. Look at this, Ohana. This is actually a skeleton of a fish. <laughs> Something died in here and got eaten to the bone or decayed to the bone. I believe this looks like a skull. I know I've showed you guys in the past previous videos on the easiest way on scooping out substrate, especially out of big aquariums, is get yourself a really good dustpan and uh, look at, you just scoop away. I'm gonna actually save this substrate. This substrate looks really cool. I like the texture. Uh, it's kind of a, a larger pebble, but I love the color. Color's dope, so. And just like that, Ohana, we managed to get all the substrate out. We got it down over here in this bucket. Jenna, how excited are you right now? I'm so excited. <laughs> so let's just uh, back up and take a look at this beautiful aquarium with the stand. Now we gotta unload this and put it into the car. Might have to make two trips. Thank God I'm only like nine houses down. So it shouldn't be long. We got some of the rocks from the scape that I'm gonna use. Also this beautiful piece of driftwood. Uh, we'll break it out later on and I'll show you what that looks like. We got some of the outlets, some of the plugs. And uh, yeah, let's get this bad boy moving. All right, my Ohana. So as you can see, we got the tank off the stand on the furniture dolly lifesaver thanks to my lovely assistant jenna thank you so much <laughs> she's got muscles guys she's got muscles so we're gonna go ahead and wheel this out to the car well my ohana we got this bad boy locked and loaded in the back of the car we actually have the stand here we're gonna actually come back for that let's get home unload this come back pick up the stand pick up the fish and then head over to geyser pets as you can see like i said the furniture dollies lifesaver you can unload you can load 125 gallon tank by yourself this is like somebody helping you or like one of your boys so i'm gonna go ahead and slide this off and wheel it up into the garage we are here at geyser pets in yuba city remember the big huge 800 gallon aquarium it's right behind me they just put fish in it yesterday i gotta show you what it looks like before we leave but first let's go ahead and get the fish out of the back of the car bring them in and get those guys acclimated so we can release them into an aquarium for you guys to see and come on down to geyser pets and pick these beautiful cichlids up they're all cichlids beautiful too they're very healthy you'll see so they managed to get me this cool cart that i'm gonna actually load the fish or the tote on and we're gonna wheel this bad boy right into geyser pets here we are geyser pets there's mr geyser right there as we speak this so makes loading and unloading fish so easy we just wheel this bad boy right in as you can see austin hey what's up austin it's going through some of the new fish 
Oh, going past the beautiful wall. There she is. How's it going? Good, good, good. I, I brought gifts. I brought gifts. Ooh, check it out, guys. They have a lemon Oscar here. Ooh, one of my favorite Oscars. What did your first saltwater tank look like? I think it was a 40 gallon. Let's see. Ooh, nice. What did you have like a filter in that? Just to hang on the back? Honestly, I don't even know. At that oh. time, I wasn't like into, you know, yeah. gear and all that. You got two Red Seas, right? Yeah, I have one Red Sea Nano and then one Red Sea 350. 350. If you guys don't know about Red Seas, that's saying you're driving a Mercedes. That's what it's saying, okay? Not a Toyota, a Mercedes. Nothing wrong with Toyotas, but I'm just saying though, the level. Because I'm a oh photographer, gosh, so I do out. like the Look how beautiful the core. Hey, plug your uh, photography. Do you have an Instagram? Oh, yeah. Is yeah. that it right there on the top or no? That's my photography Instagram. There's a photography. Oh, look, there you go. She's a photographer too. Awesome. You do everything, huh? Just Weddings, bit, yeah. everything? Oh, cool. Mostly couples, photography, or like uh, engagements. Let's see your corals. Elements. Go back to your corals. I love that. Let's check I have the like corals. five different Instagrams. Five different accounts. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Look at the corals. These are all yours? Yeah. I used to have really oh cool hammers, goodness. but... Um, <gasps> wow. Had a little phosphate issue, and then a couple what of What is it? The pretty reef? Yeah, the, the pretty, pretty reef. reef. Go follow my girl. She works here at Geyser <laughs> Pets. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. Oh, she's gonna give it a little scrapey scrape. I think majority of the fish are gonna go in this aquarium. So she's just prepping it for us. Yeah, it's gonna look nice and pretty for the video. For the Ohana, these fish are gonna love it. I can't wait to show them off to you guys. So where are these from? My neighbor. Oh. They were getting rid of their 125 gallon tank. Her husband was working a lot and so she managed to talk him into uh, <laughs> getting rid of the tank. So she was super stoked. She wasn't a big fan of the hobby, but yeah. she has a little area now where she's going to have her uh, Christmas tree. And so I went That's there and- That's why I took down my 65. Oh, really? Everybody's doing it. Tis the season. Get rid of your aquariums to make room for the uh, Christmas tree. Okay, I, still got three I know you're fine. Oh yeah. Just got some new corals in too, guys. You can see the bags are floating here, but check out all the wonderful, beautiful corals they have here at Geyser Pets. Oh, look at this stingray. Oh, it's just kind of just staying there too. In one place, it's not moving. It's because it's fake. <laughs> oh, did that get you guys? The fake stingray? <laughs> that looks good though. You got a hammer in there? Ooh wee. Ooh, that's a pretty one. It's like a fluorescent green. Love this salt water tank here, guys. Beautiful selection of corals in this tank. All right, my Ohana, so while we're waiting, sorry. So while we're waiting for the fish to acclimate, we're gonna go check out the 800 gallon aquarium. They just stocked fish in it yesterday. The largest community tank, I wanna say in Northern California for any fish store. Check it out. All right, Ohana, check it out. Ooh, check out these beautiful discus. Oh, you know they're thriving. They're loving it in this huge, 800 gallon aquarium. There you go, some Ultim Angels in the background. Ooh, there it is, right there. There's a couple of those beautiful angels. This is just one humongous aquarium for these fish. Look it. You talk about a natural environment for these guys. They're not, they're, that's just half of the tank. They still got another halfway to go. Ah, just beautiful. What are you going with first? The Oscar. Okay, the Oscar. Yeah, he's a hefty guy. Yeah, he was chill when I netted him too as well. Texas cichlid, number one. I think there's two of them. Woo, 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 woo. Oh yeah, he's wild. Look at him. Which one's this? That's, I think it's a jack. JD. Oh yeah, he's a big boy. Oh yeah, look at the jack back down there in the background. Next up. What was that that ran in there? Oh, the female jack. And from what I know, they didn't breed or anything like that. There was no breeding. So if you guys want a breeding pair, come on down. Jack Dempsey's? 
Another, another Texas? Yeah, that Texas is. It was a smaller. Was that the smaller one? Ooh, okay. Let's see if we can get. Oh, look at there. Look at. Ooh, we. Woo, look at those. I mean, for them traveling, look at them fired up. Look at the color already. Imagine when they settle in. Oh, they're going to look nice. Here's the Oscar. Oh, look at the Jack Dempsey. They're all over here now. Blood parrots? All right, I'll follow you. Nice blood parrot. Oh, you got them both? Yeah. Oh, wow. Twofer. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Come on down to Geyser Pets in Yuba City. All of their links will be down in the description below. Behind me here, the fish that we just rescued from my neighbor's house. Come on down and pick these beauties up. Let's uh, flip the camera around and take one more look at them. Sorry for the glare, but you can see this beautiful Oscar here. And then I'm pretty sure that this is a breeding pair of Jack Dempsey's. Yeah, if you're looking for a breeding pair of Jack Dempsey's, I'm pretty sure these two are. And then we have two beautiful Texas cichlids. We can actually see the head of one of them right there. Just beautiful, huh? Look at that. Teal green turquoise color. Beautiful in the aquarium. Now, just so you know, they're pretty stressed out. So for them to show this much color, being stressed out, that just means that they're gonna be even more beautiful when they settle in and get comfortable. And then also, don't forget, we have the two down over here. Oh yeah, look at them. Blood parrot cichlids. So that's it, Ohana, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Come on down to Geyser Pets, like I said, and pick up these beauties, all right? Other than that, we will see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.